The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's wow. going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post fight review for Harry Scarf versus Troy Williamson. They fought for the IBF um, European title at Super Welterweight. And this is the worst robbery, the worst robbery that British boxing has produced since Caleb Smith versus John Ryder. It was a terrible, terrible robbery. There's a lot I want to say about it, but I want to get this man's. I want to get this man's take on it. What do you, what, what do you think, pops? How bad was this robbery? Let them know as bluntly as possible in plain English what you think about this robbery. Listen, man, I got four eyes. BT got four, four, four makes eight eyes. What we saw today was blankly robbery, blankly a robbery. Um, you got what's the name again? The Williams? Trey Williams. Trey, no, no, Trey, the garbage can Williams against. Uh, Harry Scar, ha horrible Harry Scar, horrible Scar face. He dominated the fight the whole time. He uh, punked him like a one step, one headed bitch whore. He pushed her around like anything. He pushed her around the ring. He had the inside game. He had the outside game. He was hitting him to the face, play shots and everything. And of course, the commentators were dick riding like like company men. And we knew it was coming. And, we and, we and knew BT it was coming. It. And let me tell you, this channel we call the way you see. This is this is right here is pissing me off worse than the fight with, with Ryder because Ryder is a decent fighter. With Colin Smith fight, but this right here is we're talking about Scar, uh, Scar that we seen him last time with Fowler, and Fowler didn't do nothing. But this fight right here, uh, uh, Scar, what's his name? Scar looked good, and and for him to get robbed the way he did, it's just it's just blatantly uh, uh, a robbery. And let me tell you, in the U.S., we've always said that they always got some kind of a uh, 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 corruption going on, and that was corrupted right there. For BT Sport to say that they they were, that that he won this fight. They're freaking wrong. He was he knocked his, he knocked out his mouth through twice. Scarf nothing, nothing, nothing. in the tenth round when it mattered the most. Knocked him out. He punked him all over the place. And then you gonna tell me that he won the fight? I don't know what fight you guys doing. Commentators, get your eyes checked. Stop dick riding because you want your job and talk boxing the way it's supposed to be. Uh, Harry Scar got robbed. That's all I gotta say. Uh, British watching, uh, you lost my respect today. Okay. Um, to to kind of just recap the fight a little bit, uh, so you guys have a better, a clear picture of what, what's being said. You had uh, Troy Williamson. He has this real amateurish style. He's kind Unreal. of just patient, waiting, waiting, not doing a, a, a whole lot. Like he, you know, he fights at one pace. He fights at one speed. He fights at you know. It, it, it was like 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 for uh, you American fight fans out there, for the Amer Americans, what we think British fighters are when we talk gun about them sometimes. Like that's what he was. He doesn't throw no more than one or two single shots, and he didn't do much. He didn't hurt. He didn't drop Harry Scarf. He didn't put him in any sort of trouble. Now Harry Scarf, his style was very ugly. And it wasn't pretty. You know, we're yeah, not man. gonna get him confused with Pernell Whitaker no, or no. or anything like that. But but Harry Scarf was effective. Harry Scarf was effective. Um, he's someone that you know. In this fight, he showed me improvement because you know he, he fought Anthony Fowler in the past. He yeah. lost to Fowler, but he improved in this fight. He showed the ability to land hard thudding shots to the body. He punched his mouthpiece out multiple times. He he you know he landed clear clear hard flush shots up top. And this was not even a close fight. For, for, forget a robbery. To even call this a close fight is a disgrace to boxing. To even call this a close fight is a disgrace to the sport of boxing. And Harry Scarf was robbed worldly. He I mean, was screwed worldly. He was it, fucked worldly in a car. Uh, in a fight that would have been beneficial to his career. So, uh, and so Frank Warren, Fish Eyes, BT Sports Commentary, you guys are a fucking disgrace. You guys are horrible. And, and, and no pun intended, you guys are terrible for the sport of boxing for what you did tonight. That was that was a horrible robbery. A horrible robbery. I mean, we, Harry Scarf was the winner. You gotta call the way you Great see it. Great performance from Harry Scarf. You gotta call the way you see it. Here at Tuscaloosa Sports, we call it black and white. We say the way it is. And what I've seen today was a disgrace for the British uh, boxing, the UK. For not calling the fight, right? If they didn't do it with the Colin Smith fight, I understand there's a lot more politics in that fight than there is in this one right here. But this one right here, this man worked for his ass off and he showed it. Williams didn't dominate any round, they didn't do nothing to show me that he was a dominant fighter, a better fighter. He didn't adjust, he didn't make no adjustments to what uh, Harry Scarf was the, doing. The two box, uh, uh, two box that Harry Scarf had, had in his box. So guess what? He got robbed. The real winner here is. Harry Scarf, and I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm so upset. I don't want to talk about it no more. And he showed, and he showed versatility too. Harry Scarf, um, he was able to maul him. He was able to fight him on the inside and do what he wanted. But then when he, when he got on his toes and used that boxing ring, Williamson could have still couldn't do anything. 
This is the worst robbery British boxing has has produced since Caelan Smith versus John Ryder, and I'll even say it's worse than Caelan Smith John Ryder because at least, at least you can make the argument for the Caelan Smith John Ryder fight that there were some swing rounds, there were some things that that Caelan Smith could have did to make that round kind of close. This was not one of those fights. This was not one of those fights. This was a clear, conclusive, thorough ass kicking from pillow to post, and um, they took a guy Harry Scarf who earned the decision, and I'm, I'm sticking up for Harry Scarf, I'm sticking up for the guy that deserved it, I'm sticking up for the, for the little guy in boxing because um, I'm just sick of it. I don't even see what's the point of, 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 of giving this scrub the fight. This guy, Williamson, he's not, he's not particularly good, he doesn't have no punching power, he's not fast, there's nothing about him, there's nothing with him. If you can't, if you, if, if you can't beat the Harry Scarves of the world and look sensational doing it, um, Listen, man. then you don't deserve anything. Harry Scarf deserves that belt around his waist, and you would, he would have gone and he's trying to represent that belt better than this guy right here. Exactly. So, um, I'm, 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 I'm going to say it like this. Harry Scarf is going to fall. Oh, not Harry Scarf. Um, Williamson, if he steps up any more higher than the Harry Scarf level, he's getting folded up like a blue steel chair, like The Rock, like Chris Jericho. I have zero doubts about it. The dude is a straight scrub. Now, nah, I'm going to leave it at that. You might think I'm being very harsh. I don't want I, I hate I hate this friendly fighter, but I call him spade a spade. He is a straight scrub. The judges are straight scrubs. And the commentary... Uh, team for BT Sport is straight scrub. You could so. tell like the whole fight was going on. The commentator towards the end was saying it's a close fight. There is no close fight. There was no straight punches that I seen. Uh, 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 um, what his fucking name is Williams throw that showed me all the time that he, that he was winning. Meantime, the brawler, the boxer, the horrible boxer was doing everything right to win the fight. Simple as that. Simple and plain. So we'll leave it. We'll leave it at that. If you guys saw the fight, let us know what you think. Did you did, did you think Harry deserved the decision, or did you think Williams was just in getting the decision? Let us know in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just giving from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Wow.